people, my name is Matthew, and today I'm here with a very unique video in my bathroom. Weird. But I got this, this five pack of toothpaste from High Smile, based on fast food condiments. As you can see here, this pack's very hard to come by. So let's try all these. If there's five flavors, it will take about five nights try all of them, so let's get started. Wow, that's some good packaging. And we got wasabi. Wow. Pickle. Butter. Mustard. And wow. Ketchup. Very unique flavors here. This will be fun. And I think after I'm done brushing with these, I might try them on something else. That'll be fun. But yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the ketchup. First up we got ketchup, the most important ingredient on any burger is ketchup. Yum. I'm not gonna lie, this does smell a lot like ketchup. It's quite disgusting to be honest. Let's try this. I like this. It's a very mild ketchup flavor. It's not bad. Okay, that's a good flavor. I think it tastes you know, pretty much like a mild ketchup. The flavor's not too strong or anything. I could definitely use that every night to be honest. It kind of tastes like I just ate a cheeseburger with extra ketchup. I give that one a 8 out of 10. Very unique. Next up I got the pickle toothpaste. This is the one I'm most excited about. I really like pickles. Yum. Doesn't smell like much, but I'm sure it's gonna taste good. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned because this doesn't smell like pickles at all. I'm not sure what that smells like, but not pickles. Let's try this. It's very interesting. It's not what I expected at all. It's not bad. Weird. It's definitely not my favorite. It's a very artificial pickle taste. I guess it's just not what I expected. It doesn't taste like a real pickle, but I'm not saying it's bad. I suppose if I put this toothpaste on a burger, it might taste like a pickle. Guess we'll find out. But to be honest, I'm a little bit, tiny bit disappointed. Um, I'd give that one like a 5 out of 10. I just wish it tasted more like an actual pickle. 
But yeah, it's not bad. Next up we have the mustard toothpaste. You cannot have a cheeseburger without mustard. It's the second most important ingredient. Okay, I'll be honest, this does not smell like mustard. It smells much worse. Let's try this. Wow, that's not good. Compared to the others, this is quite disgusting to be honest. That was terrible. Man. You know what, out of all these flavors, you know one had to be terrible, and I think that's it. That tasted nothing like mustard. I don't even know what that tasted like, it was so artificial and bad. I think if I put that on a cheeseburger, that might ruin it. Yeah, that was just really disgusting right there. And I hope the next two flavors really make up for that. I do not think I've ever had a more disgusting experience brushing my teeth than with that flavor. Okay, next up we have the butter toothpaste. I have no idea what to expect from this one. I don't really like butter that much. This butter toothpaste doesn't really smell like much. I have no clue what to expect. Let's try this. I really like this. The flavor was a lot stronger than the other three. It's definitely better than I expected. That one's very surprising. I think that's my favorite of the ones I've tried so far. It really does taste like butter. And it's a very strong flavor too. I wasn't tasting much for the first few seconds there, but after a few seconds, I could really taste the butter, and it was pretty good. Yeah, that flavor was a real surprise. I'll give that one a 10 out of 10. My favorite so far. Time for the last flavor. Last but not least, we have wasabi. Very spicy. Okay, I saved the spiciest for last. I'm a little bit concerned about this one because I'm not a huge fan of wasabi. It's pretty spicy. I don't put wasabi on my burgers too often or anything really, so let's try this. Okay, 
It's definitely not what I expected. Did all, almost no heat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of disappointed. I was really hoping for a spicy experience and to be honest, I had almost no heat at all. And it also didn't taste too much like wasabi. It's kind of like a washed down wasabi flavor. I think if I had the choice, I probably would not put that on my sushi because and let's be honest, it does not taste like wasabi. Not even close. But it's not bad though, I mean, the flavor is not disgusting like mustard. So that's a plus. I think I would give that one a 6.6 .6 out of 10. You know, it's not amazing or anything, but it's not terrible either. It's just, you know, above average. Okay, that was a fun brushing experience. The mustard was terrible, the wasabi and pickles were disappointing. And the ketchup and the butter were actually very good. Very surprising. So anyway, I bought this McDonald's burger here. Let's open it. Yum yum. As you can see, there's nothing on it right now. I will put these toothpastes on the burger and eat it because I'm hungry. Okay, let's get started. We have a plain burger here. No condiments. Let's apply some ketchup. Yummy, yummy. Some ketchup. Let's spread it. Mustard, the worst one. Oh yeah. That should be tasty. Pickle. A good burger always has two pickles, so let's do that. Just good so far. A nice buttery bun with the butter toothpaste. Nice and buttery, looking good. And of course all burgers need a dash of wasabi. That looks very tasty. Put the buttery bun on the burger. It's a masterpiece. That honestly looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this entire thing. Hmm, what can I say? I'm starving. This looks amazing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be sick. I mean, just kidding, this is awesome. Very good burger here. Five out of five stars.
Here comes the pickle. Okay. Oh yeah. That's very good. That's it so far. The ketchup really stands out. And so does the artificial pickle. In fact, I can taste a little bit of the butter too. I think there's three ingredients stand out the most. I think the mustard is in there somewhere and the wasabi, you know, kind of doesn't blend in well. But hey, you know, three out of five. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's the mustard, big, chunk of mustard right there. It's not good. It's not good mustard even on a burger. Halfway there, let's take a look. Nice, nice. That yeah, still looks good. This toothpaste is really holding up. And the cool thing about toothpaste, in opposed to regular ingredients, it's not falling off. We have no ingredients to fall off here. Okay, last few bites here. As you can see, a lot of ketchup. I think that has some pickle there and a tiny bit of mustard. And of course butter, you know, that's the best thing. Last bite. I'm so sad that this is it for the burger. I wish I had another one, but oh well. It's a thumbs up for me. I don't know, I think the burger was missing something like, maybe if they make some cheese toothpaste, maybe some beef toothpaste, maybe even some onion toothpaste, that would be amazing. Heck, why not make bun toothpaste so I can make a whole burger out of this. I hope they make more burger flavors, to be honest. That was really fun. Now, to be honest, I did struggle to eat that a bit. A few times here and there I may have almost puked, but totally worth it. Very good experience, very good burger. I guess that's it for today. Bye.